Good morning. I am the epidemic and I'm living in the past. Today we're going to be opening Jihad uh, the card game from Wizards of the Coast. This was the limited edition of what will later be called Vampire the Eternal Struggle. I, uh, as you can see, picked up one starter deck and four boosters. So this game came out in Wizards of the Coast, by the way. Uh, I think 1994. Uh, right after Magic took off, Richard Garfield put together another game and wow this doesn't seem to want to open put together another game obviously uh... this game involves vampires white wolf's vampires uh... with the exception of the name um, like white wolf didn't own this property just yet they do eventually come in on it and we'll put some of the characters that actually exist in their role-playing universe into card form, but from the start, that was not the case. Um, for anybody who doesn't know what this game's about, you basically play a really old vampire who called a Methuselah, and you are trying to, through schemes and violence, uh, destroy your opponents uh, who are other old vampires, uh, and those are the other players. Uh, you're supposed to play with no less than three players. That's what this symbol is supposed to mean. Like, each of these is a player, and, like, the line that goes from here attacks that player, and the line that comes from here attacks that player. Because apparently you're supposed to go after the player on your right. So once you slay that player... Uh, or get him out of the game through some other means, you then move on to the one after that. Uh, there's a This is a fairly large card set. It's like 300-some cards, which is cool. Uh, I have actually never played this game. I do like the concept. I probably will sit down and play it at some point. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be an enjoyable experience. So we got ourselves an old-timey rule book. Wow, these look a lot like magic cards. Storm Sewers, Venture Headquarters, Fame, Fourth Tradition, Boon, Submachine Gun. So, though I've never played it, um, Ah, here we go. These Praxis cards, I know those, there's like a whole ton of them, and they are rare. Uh, is that, yep, okay, because vampires, the actual vampires in the game come with on different backs. So, I'm assuming that's one, two, yeah. So my story, these cards feel different, too. They feel unprotected. Kind of like an actual playing card. Um, you know how like if you spill, if you get like a drop of beer on the table and you accidentally put your two of diamonds onto it, it'll just soak up right away. That's how these feel. Definitely a huge change from Rage. Oh, what's that? Oh, just a different and interesting background. So, uh, what's my story? My story with this game is when I started seeing the packs. Interesting. Uh, and boosters, whatnot, available. I don't remember who I spoke to. I wish I had a, a better recollection. But I was talking to somebody who said, what's this game about? And I said, whoa, hold on. That's for adults. You, uh... You know, because there's just adult subject matter and blood and whatnot. And I was like, oh. Now, does that turn off a 14-year-old from doing something? 90% uh, of the time, no. But in either case, um, the big deciding factor in whether or not you play a game is if you can convince any friends to play it. I mean, on occasion, I have bucked that rule and bought cards 
uh, in the case of Mythos. Uh, that's how it worked. But, so you get the cards, you learn how to play, you put some decks together, and guess what? If you can't convince somebody to play you, you're not playing. So I still had that problem with Mythos. Uh, nobody I knew had any interest in playing this game. Uh, at the time, anyway. So, I just never did. And, um, you know, as you get older, you, you... I mean, everybody's different. You do or don't... Is that the whole deck already? Well, I guess it's fast when you don't know anything about what you're looking at. <laughs> you know, could be the million dollar card is this this kitten photo, but... Not photo, but... You know, doesn't mean anything to me until I learn something about the game. Uh, apparently this game went on for years, too. Uh, uh, I think they officially called it quits in 2010. Now, check this out. This is a 19-card booster pack. I don't think I've ever seen boosters with so many cards. This is 275 a pack. It's not a bad deal, unless all the cards are junk. Threats, Aid from Bats, Gleam of Red Eyes, Earth Meld. Ooh, that's, a, uh, that's an ability. I did grow up, uh, in my late teens and early 20s, I did learn, that's Melissa Benson, how to play uh, Vampire the Masquerade, which is actually a role-playing game uh, that this, these cards are based on the Mark Ryan Hagen universe. So these concepts will transfer, I'm sure. Okay. Anyway, that was fun. If you're the kind of person who likes to role play. Uh, if you're not, then um, well, hopefully you have more fulfilling things in your life because it can be a very rewarding experience. Okay. I think we saw that one already. They definitely saw that one. And that guy. 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 Gideon Fontaine. Okay. You know what it doesn't say? That's... Well, you know what? Those symbols are probably there. Clans. Yeah. That's probably what it is. Form of Mist. There's a board game called Fury of Dracula, and in it, Dracula can take mist form. If you ever saw the, uh... Oh... The Bram Stoker's Dracula that had, uh, all practical effects right when the digital age was getting huge, um... I can't remember the name of the director offhand. It's, uh, it was an excellent movie uh, with Win Winona Ryder and Keanu Reeves, except Keanu Reeves, I gotta admit. I'm a huge fan of Keanu Reeves, but he was not. <laughs> uh, we'll, just, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, The fifth tradition. We see a bunch of traditions. Lots of traditions. I'd like to know... I mean, I'm not going to find out. It's, it's, you know. But I'd like to know in what order... Rares and commons... Are in these packs. Obfuscate. Hmm... Welcome to Commons. It's probably a common. I've seen that before. Definitely seen that. Seen that. Seen seen that? Maybe. De I saw one of those. Dancing Dana. Alright.
movement of the slow body and sport bike let us go have some sport bike all right well as I did a tiny bit of YouTube homework in that Jihad or Vampire the Eternal Struggle whatever you wish to call this game it has a much bigger YouTube following than uh, Rage and Mythos, the two games I've already kind of showcased. So, if anybody's watching this that suggests they know what's going on, so they may or may not have gone, oh, that card is great, you know, to the, either in their heads or to the screen, and I just don't know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, when I learn how to play, it'll, uh, it'll definitely... The, the good cards will become revealed, and the less good cards, well, awesome. Not so much. But anyway, uh, I enjoyed this little trip into the past. Uh, once again, I am the Epidemic, and so can you.